off a championship Sunday. They ain't want to see them niggas there, man. <laughs> they did. They didn't want to see the niggas there. Literally. Baltimore and Detroit. Yeah, they were like, well, we got to shake this shit up. <laughs> Straight up. Man, so first off, Reggie, I'm going to start with you. Yes, sir. Was that Pat Mahomes game he won or Lamar just didn't have a Lamar type of game? Uh, I think it was more so Lamar not being Lamar. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, we were looking for the MVP Lamar to Thanks. step up, run all over the field, you know what I mean, make plays with his arms, which he did, you know, somewhat um, uh, this past weekend. But, shit, Mahomes, after that first half, he was obsolete. The defense shut him down. I mean, you yeah. hold Patrick Mahomes to 17 points at home, and you're the number one rushing team in the league, bro. You're expecting to at least have a last-second shot at the end of the game, which they That's did. True. But, you know, everybody, well, everybody I know was pulling for number uh, eight to pull that thing off, man. I think he just kind of uh, didn't perform to our expectations. So I think it's more so Lamar dropping the ball. Yeah, uh, and, and and I think it came at the worst time where it could, it could come. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the yeah. reason why I say that is like, this AFC championship, this prime. Yeah. Like, damn all what they talking about in the media. I think that's why I want Lamar to win so bad because they really tried to shit on him last. You remember it was a time they didn't even want to pay him at first. Right. And then no team wanted to, no team wanted him this offseason. Like, right. like are we good on him. Mm -hmm. Straight. And then the fact that where he had winning the draft. He sat behind, like, they they, they they feel like he's not a quarterback. Absolutely. So this was the game I felt like I wanted for Lamar to show, motherfucker, I'm here. Mm -hmm. But like I've been saying all year, Pat Mahomes is just Pat. And, and Reggie Wright, I didn't realize that until you just broke that down. He didn't do shit in the second half. They didn't score in the second half. They didn't score in the second half. Nothing. But I'm, it was turnovers, too. When they got in the red zone, Lamar was like, Look, I don't know why I'm talking like this. Why the fuck you ain't use your legs? Yeah, man, come on now. Bro, I'm come watching the game. I'm... Bro, there's so many white people around me. <laughs> and I hate I said this shit when I said I said, nigga, run. Run, nigga, run. Run, nigga, run. <laughs> nigga, about nine white people looking at the table like, what? Because I, that's what I want you to do, Lamar. It seemed like he was just trying to prove a point like, nah, I, can I, I can win this way too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch yeah. me do it. Nigga, yeah. do it on your time. Yeah, yeah, on your terms. How you got here? Yeah, bro. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck if your quarterback sneak that bitch all game. Hey, that fourth and one play. Bruh. I wanted them to run that shit five times in a he row. He could have scored. I wanted them to run that play five times in a row. And let's see what happened. Ain't nobody going to be mad at you for doing that play, putting the, the ball in your best player's hands, bro. Right. You know what I mean? This man's about to win the MVP. He got 4 2, 4 3 speed. He can break at any point during the game. Man, bro. put the ball in his hand five Reggie, times in a row, man. I know I talk a lot of shit about the goddamn wishbone off. I don't give a fuck if they would have <laughs> came hey. out there in that old Georgia Tech offense running that bitch pit. Show me Lamar. I want to see hey, Lamar. I'm with you on that. I'm with you. Bro, I don't know I'm who the you. fuck we just watched Sunday. I'm with that you. That wasn't no goddamn Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, I'm disappointed. And, and the only reason, bro. And, you know, because Pat Mahomes is is a black quarterback as well. Lamar is a black quarterback. But it was just like, for Lamar, it was basically proving all them naysayers and doubters wrong. Yeah. Like, throughout the course of his career. So that's what mostly. But me, Pat Mahomes, I don't bet against Pat. And Dang. the time that I do, <laughs> I got my motherfucking head chopped off, boy. I took a first half bet with Baltimore. <laughs> I took a full game. I had them on parlays. <laughs> nigga. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Yeah, man. Chiefs plus four and a half. Yeah. You said it, Marcel. Yeah. Boy, this prize pick getting crazy, boy. You win so much money, they follow you, boy. You want to win like this? You want to be like this? Join prize picks. What you waiting for? It's easy. It's available in over 30 states. You playing. Man, I feel like the paparazzi chasing me. They want to know my picks because the Super Bowl coming. Keep it on the low, though. And you definitely want to keep this on the low. 
the broken play promo code. We use that promo code. If you ain't never been on prize pick before, this the time, right before Super Bowl. Anything you deposit up to $100, they gonna match it. If you put up $73, they gonna match $73. You put up, hey, say you only got $29. They'll put up $29 and they match it. And you can win up 25 times your money when you do a six pick. What you waiting for? Come get some of this money. So you can have people chasing you around trying to find out the sauce. And this legal. That's why, this legal. I feel like I'm whispering because I feel like I'm doing something illegal, but this legal. For real. Use the promo code Broken Blade. They said Kadarius Tony says Chiefs lied about his injuries. Nigga, who give a fuck? Nigga, how you been playing? Something got to be wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I, you better... <laughs> you, you might be mentally fucked up. You don't know. <laughs> you might be on that AB podcast. What's that hey, podcast? CTE. Coming out with? CTE. Man, yeah. that nigga AB funny as fuck, boy. Yes, he is. I don't give a fuck. One of the yes, niggas say AB funny. You be looking at his tweets. Bro. That nigga AB said, if a woman can't cook, Bitch, you gonna cut that grass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said, y'all think AB fucked up in the head. He knows some of that shit. Nah, they, they, he posted, he said, Dan Campbell's the first coach with CTE. Yes, he Bro. did say that too. Boy, I don't know what yes, happened man. in Dan Campbell's career. He do not fuck with special teams. <laughs> that nigga hate his motherfucking kicker. That no, kicker done did something. No, nah, he missed a lot of damn field goals. 48%, I think, over 40 yards this year. Oh. So he was kind of right. I think they were like damn near 75% or, or, or better going for fourth down during the regular season. I think they were two for two in the playoffs already. I ain't finna take no chance with the guy. No, I feel you, know you on that. Mean? And the fourth downs that he go for, bro, they was, they was there. Yeah. That catch, buddy, miss. Reynolds, yes, sir. Bro. Reynolds. And then and I his look chest. Up, then I look, the motherfucker smiling on the sideline. That's what got to stop. Because <laughs> me as a coach, Dan Campbell, I want you to be Dan Campbell at all times. Go yeah. slap that nigga helmet off. The fuck is you doing, man? Then for the game. But you gotta... I fuck with Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell said, I feel like this was our only shot. If you play that way, you going to play that way. It's hard to get there, bro. Boy, who you telling Man, but what the 49er did in that damn second half. Woo! D-Bow. Off rip. Hey, I'm telling half. you this now. Because D-Bow fucking with the podcast. That's all. They win a fucking Super Bowl. We're going to get an interview with D-Bow. Whether it's Zoom or something, we're going to get that nigga on this motherfucker. Word. Nigga, we ain't stopping until we... We got to start... We got to start putting shit in our, in our hands. Stop waiting on shit. Debo, like you coming on the motherfucking show. I like that. I yeah. Like that. We want niggas who fuck with the show. Debo coming on the show. Taylor Swift has generated $331 million to the chief value. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> the rich getting rich. I don't want to hear shit about that. Tell me about <laughs> Pat Mahomes' daddy. Real ass nigga. What the fuck that done did for his wealth? He gave y'all the nigga who changed the motherfucker trajectory. Care about Taylor yeah, Swift sitting up there cheering every time Kelsey catch a motherfucking pass. Who threw it to the nigga? Show Pat Mahomes daddy. Every time you show Taylor Swift, show Pat Mahomes daddy too. <laughs> you wanted something though. Yeah. Pat Mahomes scene. That's what that's how you stop racism. That when niggas wouldn't be so mad. Man, why they keep showing this motherfucker? If you show Pat Mahomes daddy too, they'll be like. Everybody had talking about real niggas. There you go. <laughs> Pat Mahomes' daddy, but ain't no. They gotta be ready to put that camera on Pat Mahomes' daddy, cause you know Taylor Swift ain't gonna be doing shit too crazy, but cheering, smiling, swag surf. Man, you put that shit on Pat Mahomes' daddy, he might be busting a fitted out. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Mahomes' daddy might be in a little bitch in a swimming. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy on the field right there. You know what I mean? That's my boy. <laughs> Back my own daddy, you never know. So I can't blame the NFL. I got to stop. I got I to gotta stop asking crazy questions why they won't do that. He said that Pat Mahomes' dad said he had that special blend this weekend, Lamar yeah. special blend. Now, the only reason, bro, I didn't want Lamar to be the butt of the joke. Yeah. 
Say John Harbaugh. <laughs> <laughs> Take a white man down. Don't be guy. <laughs> I don't want to see no black on black crime. Word. This is a this is a black owned network on a black owned show. I said it backwards, but niggas know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but no. I think that's good for the game though. What? But just home, all that. Daddy? Yeah, my own daddy. Yeah. And just like shit talking, period. It's good bro. for us, bro. Yeah. It ain't necessarily, you know, they ain't going to celebrate it uh, per se, but, you know, we love that shit. Yeah. yeah. Man, did you see the Chiefs mocking the Baltimore accents? Yeah, at the end of the game on uh, IG Live. Yeah. Stupid. They was doing <laughs> that shit. Boy. Man, but look, I'm. Bro, Baltimore versus Detroit. That just would have been like, nigga. That would have been a celebration bowl in Vegas, boy. Man. Dead ass. You know what, though? Reggie, now that you say that, I just realized something. The Super Bowl, what, February 12th? 11th. February 11th. They wouldn't be able to get them niggas to leave until April 6th. (laughs) (laughs) Them motherfuckers would have stayed win or lose. The fans from Detroit and Baltimore would have been there to the summer hit. That's funny as hell. You right though. You man, right. I seen the meme. They said, man, they would have, they would have goddamn uh rolled the dots off them dice. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Now you got the two whitest cities in that motherfucker. That Vegas ain't man, Vegas gonna be boring as shit. Know, Nothing they but saggy tears. Going on, man. <laughs> what what do you think was the uh, changing point in that Ravens game? Changing point in the Ravens game? Shit, ain't shit changed. <laughs> it, it, it really wasn't. I, well, the changing point, nah. When my boy, it was probably one of the worst calls I've seen in postseason history, for real. That taunting call on, on Flowers. Mm. Bro, that game, that situation, refs, y'all got to take y'all ass up out this game, bro. Y'all like can't that, be, right? y'all, y'all you know, can't be the difference or... Or, or even a suggested difference maker in a in a playoff game, in any sport. That's basketball, baseball, football. And if you look at the replay, you can see he's just trying to get Buddy off off his leg, and he just do he just stand up. Yeah, he throw the ball down, but you've seen players uh, like uh, spike hand, the ball, hand the ball, and hand the ball that, yeah. throw the ball to the ref. You know what I mean? It wasn't that demonstrative. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Shit, you got a uh, review, a replay to 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 correct everything else, man. I think they need to take that in consideration because that changed everything about the game. Yeah, they did have another chance to to score and everything like that. But you got a field goal that possession? No, nah, I think that's when they fumbled. I think they still got down there and fumbled. That wasn't the same no, drive. When Zay fumbled? I think it was the same. That wasn't the same drive. I don't know, but either way, the momentum was strong. Yeah, Zay. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I think that 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 changes everything. That momentum is a real thing, especially you know during this time. And that second game with a lot of momentum. Come on now. Whew. The, I I feel like that um, when they went for Dan Campbell, the reason why I'm gonna say he's not wrong. When they went for on that fourth down. If they get that fourth down right there, I don't think the 49ers. Detroit, like, they they take off more clock. Shit, they don't, they, get, just they get don't get the ball. Seven. They probably don't get the ball back. Yeah. So it's just like, it's certain stuff like that where you got to think about, like, I'm trying to stomp their ass out. Right. And right. when you and when you got a motherfucker down, you got to stomp. What was the score, though? They were down... Um... Cause they were down by three. Only had got three. They were down by three. I think it was uh might have been 27, 24 at that point. And it was a fourth and three. I'm talking about the first time. The uh, first Reggie. time? You remember after after the half, the 49ers had scored three. Then Detroit get the ball. They started driving. Okay. Then I know what fourth, you're talking about. fourth and something. In field goal range. Uh yeah, they was in field goal range and he went for it. Mm-hmm. Then shortly after, 49ers go score now. But I'm saying if they go if they go down and score a touchdown right there or just take off more clock, you just dominating the game. Right. And that's what it was about. Right. But then secondly, 49ers go score a touchdown, Detroit get the ball again, then Gibbs fumble. And two, they didn't two look rookies back. who had great seasons, great rookie campaigns, oh. fumbled the ball and costly mm. in this championship yeah. games, man. It's tough to see. Chiefs versus Niners, who we got? 
Man, I'm not betting against Patrick Mahomes, bro. I told y'all last week, they got that uh, New England uh, uh, energy about <laughs> yeah. them, bro. I don't care how boring they is. Some way, somehow, they're going to find oh, a way nah, to Oh, no, them niggas ain't boring. Game. Well, they were they, born that second half, well, yeah, last were. week, like, at least. You know hey, I, mean? I, I want that black OC. I wish he would have stayed, bro. Because you remember they used to Everybody dance. Me. Yeah, they used to dance when they get to the line. Niggas mm-hmm. switch out all that. They done stopped all that. Pat Mahone. I don't know. I don't know if he getting old or he just getting like, man, I'm tired of this shit. I'm in Kansas City. <laughs> Boring as a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, hey, I got I got um I got Chiefs, man. But it's only plus one and a half. It's gonna be it's gonna be a close game. I will say this, and you know I usually don't do this. Brock Purdy. He hey, need bro. all the love. Hey, hey we bro. talk about all these quarterbacks. Thank Brock you. Purdy is a quarterback. I talked shit about the nigga last week. Hey, he held his own. He held his own. He changed the game. Uh, with, with his legs. With, with his, his legs. legs. Lamar, Decision making. With, with his legs. Lamar. I know goddamn well Brock <laughs> Purdy ain't more agile and goddamn mobile than you. But motherfucker, Sunday you couldn't tell. Granted, uh, the Lions don't have a QB spy on Brock Purdy, but ain't no one person's tackling Lamar like that in the open field. Easily. Hell no, ain't two people tackling that nigga. So I seen two people staring at that nigga before when he shook both of them. <laughs> yeah, Brock Purdy changed the game in the second half, man. I like. I, I will say this: twenty-four to seven came back and won that whole. Two of my favorite players playing. And that's Pat Mahomes and Debo. So I wouldn't be mad at who wins. It, it'll be good. It'll be good. Brock Purdy, a seven, seven round pick. Kyle Shanahan finally get one. You got John Lynch. You got it's so many players on that defense. I like San Francisco team. They got a good team. Mm-hmm. But I just, it's just too white. They got a white quarterback, white receiver, white tight end. It's a rematch too. Yeah, Super Bowl Fifty Four. Uh, Chiefs won thirty-one twenty. I saw a post that said the last time these two teams played, there was a pandemic. Boy, sure was. <laughs> no cap. Damn. Damn. Two know, weeks later. <laughs> yeah. So when money came in this city, boy. <laughs> I don't That's remember that subject. Super Bowl. You remember that Super Bowl? Yeah, I remember really. that shit. Because yeah. again, right after that. Pandemic, so uh, wasn't nobody pretty, pretty much paying attention to it. That shit came right out the tube, boy. Uh. Dang. Falcons hire Raheem Morris. How you feel about that, Reggie? Wonderful. You Great spoke hire. on that, yeah. Man, again, well, I think we got kind of like uh, more than what we bargained for. He's already been bred in the system. Uh, he, he's been here for a couple years. I think he was an intern at one point. Um, Hasn't been that guy before. Hasn't been recycled around. Again, you get the bill from somebody with, from the ground up. Now all we got to do is find that guy to get on the center. It, it, offensive coordinator got to come, though. I think they hired. Did they hire offensive coordinator? I don't know yet. I ain't, I ain't I see an OC did. hire yet. They need an offensive-minded nigga who just going to goddamn let that offense just open up. It's too much. I feel, and when I say it's too much, like they hired Zach Robinson. Who Where the is fuck it? is that? Where's he from? Chargers. Oh, okay. the quarterback coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> the Patriots wide receiver. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to pronounce his name wrong. Kayshawn Butte. What is it? That's close. I think. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That sounds about right. Arrested for online gambling at LSU, placed over eighty nine hundred bets. He's a sick individual. Oh, he's sick. Eighty nine hundred bets. Man, what's the name when of... I check? The Neil, N I L. I'm saying Neil. that's a lot of bets, bro. Eighty nine hundred. That's a Marcel. lot of bets. Individual bets. Bro, you don't think you don't you don't think you put up them type of numbers? I don't. Put, I don't think I put up them type of numbers. Bro. Nigga, you do about six seven bets a day. I had about 13 yesterday, but I ain't put up, <laughs> yeah, so, up 8,900 bets. That's how niggas do That's crazy. At school. And playing. While playing. While playing at school. I don't see nothing wrong. Shit. More time to study. 
<laughs> he's a fi- he's a finance major. Like, yeah. Eighty nine hundred, nigga. You should have hit ten thousand. <laughs> no, nah, they said he came up. Oh, he they what? said he, he was. He did a little damage. How do they find shit? I think five hundred thousand, like something like that's what I heard. I, but again, it's you know. How do you find shit that out? Say. That's crazy. You can find that shit out. I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm mad he got told on about that shit. Somebody definitely tell on on, on you when you get caught up like that, bro. Yeah, man. Because it's after the fact. We in the league already. Yeah, he's already in the league. And he with the Patriots now? Yeah, yeah he, he in the, the league Patriots. already. Nigga, I bet you ain't betting with them. <laughs> no goddamn well you ain't betting with them. We'll get into some comments. Oh, we got somebody named Dom commenting. This ain't you, is it, Dom? The nigga Dom say, hell no. Man, they were so close to that 42. Nigga, who? <laughs> <laughs> they can't be talking about us. Yeah. <laughs> Might be talking about somebody in his household. <laughs> Appreciate it, Dom. <laughs> One little tree said, bring Lex back for the Super Bowl now. Underscore Bibbin said, put some respect on the Niners, baby. Chubby Bag Yo said, I told y'all my 49ers were going to win, but what's crazy is Yvette took McCaffrey over 89 and a half and he got 90. She a lock for real. Shout out to Yvette. Shout out to Yvette. Good job. Yo. For real. A lock for real. And look, he broke that shit at the end on that last run, yep. too. When he called for that time, oh, he was like, boy, get somebody in. That's a hard running, uh, running back. Devo185 said, them boys just can't go six for six, bro. No 1942 once again. Devo, I feel like you... (laughs) Man. You against us, bro. We do. We do, man. We we definitely do for a win. Uh... One's 197. I can't wait for next episode because, boy, these games were crazy as hell both ways. Shout out to Broken Play. It definitely was crazy both games. Which game you think was the craziest, though? Lions, shit, Lions. that Lions that game where they gave up 17-point lead. Yeah. But that's, 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 but that's, we know how that feel a little bit. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So, uh. You see, uh, what's it, Garner Johnson was uh, waving his hands shit. by early. Like, bro, oh, y'all got man, a whole second early. half. Hey, listen. Tripping. We seen this before. But. We I said him. this. <laughs> I said this. Damn. I said if Debo don't play, I'll take Detroit money line. If Debo play, give me the points. Oh, they cover. The Backdoor cover. cover. Yeah. They cover, though. <laughs> but I'm just saying, that that just go to show you Debo is a difference maker on that field. Yes, better bro. believe him. He really is, bro. But they should have won that game. Detroit had the game won. It was their game to lose, and they lost. Man, and they was... came out striking. Jamison Williams off rip that reverse for the touchdown. Like, oh, shit, they ain't hey, they you for know, real. Sometimes when teams get up, they start doing stupid shit. Bro, run that motherfucker. That's pressure, boy. Yeah, and uh, Montgomery was toting that shit, bro. Man, let me tell you something, bro. Them, them turnovers, them, them timely turnovers. Them drops. Every time. Yeah, easy got, to hey, say it, huh, Reggie? Until look, you got down. Thank you. Know. you. Yeah. Thank you. It's all Reynolds, bro. Them drops is crazy. I am Chib once said, I watch this show so much, I be getting happy when y'all drop a new video. I even be watching the old videos over again. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, respect, bro. Nigga, I get happy when they drop too, because I don't know when they going to motherfucking drop. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they treat our show like it ain't shit, nigga. They upload our shit three weeks later. Niggas in the comment, damn, that happened a month ago. <laughs> nigga, we talked about it a month ago. Nigga just upload our shit when he want to. <laughs> he got me hating on all the other shows on 85. I said, how the fuck they shit uploaded already? <laughs> they shit get uploaded before the shit happened. <laughs> Man, true. Oh, fuck. They, they finna, they finna uh, cyber attack the shit at Fulton, uh, <laughs> in Fulton County. Next thing I know, the shit happened. But appreciate it, bro, for being excited <laughs> when our new shit dropped. Hopefully you see, see hear you coming. <laughs> 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 the nigga might edit this shit out. The nigga start doing shit he ain't supposed to do. <laughs> oh, nigga went on. <laughs> Trill Cartel J said, ain't no better way to start the day than broken play on the way to work. You must work the night shift. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you ain't watch this shit on time. <laughs> 
<laughs> you late as a motherfucker, Cartel J. <laughs> Cause this shit was not uploaded in the morning. <laughs> this shit didn't get uploaded by 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> All right, that's the last one, man. Uh, Mark Marquise T. Johnson said, Nav, you should have stayed on the KC boat because you jumped on that little B-more boat and crashed out. Hey, mm. nigga, when you're right, you motherfucking right. <laughs> nigga, I had been screaming this shit all year. Screaming it all year. Mm -hmm. It's the nigga that got in me. Man, you can't go against with Mark. <laughs> Pause that, bro. That was crazy. <laughs> it was the nigga that got into me. That like my own, crazy. like my. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't, you're not hearing yourself. I guess because I just talk like that. Like I don't, I don't talk. You right, you right, you right. I with you on that. Yeah, one. I don't talk. I don't know. For so, now, pause. Yeah, pause for the people pause. who have to pause that shit. There not me. <laughs> it was me being a nigga that got into myself. Yeah. Well, that was too many words, bro. <laughs> Niggas knew what I, you knew what I meant, Greg. That's all that matter. I'm only asking Greg. It be like that sometimes, folks. But yeah, I crashed out. Sheldon Ruster said, y'all really be replying to the DMs and I love it. I need that merch so we can show support. Throw the logo on some hats or something, fam. Let's go. Now nah, we definitely got to get some uh, merch. I seen a nigga when we was out there and watched, he was like, man, garbage bouncer. I need a garbage bouncer hat. I said, mm. nigga, me too. <laughs> we gonna get some merch. When we get some merch, I could just see that shit flooding around the world. We start sending it to them players. They wear their shit at the press conference. That's how I dream, Ooh. bro. Pre-game. They, right. fuck, they fuck around with some broken plate to the press conference. Nigga, we out of here. Can't tell me shit. That's how we gonna have the leverage over these other niggas. <laughs> they don't have no merch. Them niggas do all that hate. Talk about all the games, but they don't send the players no merch to well. We gonna send them niggas. Yeah, bro, I know we hated on you last episode, but we gonna send you a hat. You didn't get number six point, but we <laughs> sent you a hat. <laughs> That'll make a nigga play better. CW252 said chemistry gets better with every episode. For sure. Nice. Nigga, and the thing is, we ain't even trying to make the shit better. <laughs> boy, shut <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> This shit just coming, so I'm saying, when I say we ain't trying, like, saying. yeah, we ain't they sitting down, like, we ain't sitting down as a team watching the episode, like, nah, we gotta work on this, we gotta, <laughs> no, we ain't doing all that shit. We shoot this bitch and go home. Vibing. And come the next week. We ain't doing shit better or extra. But it's just getting better. Because it's the fans that's fucking with it. New niggas loving the show. We just, the only thing we gotta get better with is uploading this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I think that's why we don't sit down as a team and try to get better. We don't know when the shit going to drop. <laughs> we can't never watch this shit as a team because the shit going to come out at 3 in the morning with niggas with their family. Yeah, we, we going to have, hey, matter of fact, if y'all want to, next week we going to have an interview with the nigga who upload our shit. <laughs> I don't think the nigga likes sports. That's why he don't give a fuck. <laughs> that too. Damn. We ain't gonna say a name because we don't want no hate coming. We not gonna say Naji name, so keep <laughs> keep Naji name anonymous. <laughs> Please don't say a last name, man. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> don't let me fuck around pull a call sheet up. I know that nigga <laughs> name on a call sheet somewhere. But it's Najee. Um, <laughs> in case y'all want to leave some fuck Najee comments on Bump and Play, right? <laughs> hey! I'm going to find his Instagram. Y'all going to spam that nigga Instagram, man. Hold up. Oh, man. Uh, I just got a Dom bomb. Um, Shakur Stevenson announced his retirement from no. boxing. No! Uh, 26 years old, holds a WBC lightweight title, and also won belts in the featherweight and super featherweight. Um, he last fought in November. Pretty interesting. Damn. That's wild. Is it for, yeah, I, <laughs> is, that, is that for real? He, he, po he posted it. He said it, yeah, but that's, they do it out there. Mm. 
let's see if we got some real broken play fanatics. Najee's Instagram is Good Eye Media. G O O D E Y E M E D I A. Go give him a piece of your mind, y'all. Y'all mad at us that the upload don't come on time. Do your thing. Next comment. Uh, Lately Entertainment said, can we hear more from Dumb and Thad? I like to hear everybody on the mic, LOL. Great episode as usual. For sure. Thad, he can't talk. <laughs> but Dumb, he in producer mode. So, yeah, they can talk. Y'all can hear them. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> um, Daisha... Ratcliffe said, love the new graphics for y'all prize picks. Appreciate it. Queen Naya Day Day 2600 said, dark space and betting is crazy. What's that? Oh, we're talking about the, out, um, the hotline. We're oh, about, yeah, we're, we're on the hotline. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, you're right. That is crazy. <laughs> Get them, got them fishing. Subscribe to the 85 app for the year. Can't miss broken play. Tight lines. Hey, Respect, see, that's bro. what niggas don't realize. We bringing money to the motherfucking app and niggas want to upload our shit later. <laughs> this nigga said for the year, not month to month. Nigga, broken play fans got money. <laughs> <laughs> they want merch. They want yeah, subscriptions. Want, yeah, you see what niggas asking for on our shit? They want merch. They want to spend money. I seen the comment. Oh, look. Oh, shit. And they got it. Look how God worked. Our Teresa said, we need to sponsor now Super Bowl tickets. That's what tickets are. We get. Our Teresa, shout out to you. And baby, I don't want it, but I just like y'all mindset. Word. We got to get y'all some merch. They ready to spend money. They like this show too good. We got to fuck with them. Queen Naya Day Day 2600. Now, this is what I'm talking about. It hit YouTube during the game. Six laughing emojis. <laughs> Motherfuckers <laughs> laughing. <laughs> That's it for the comments. Um, nah, those were some good ass comments. <laughs> we're going to do a little QB1 with Reggie before we get this NFL segment. Let's do it. Uh, the game you want to start with? Shit. In order, like we've yeah, been doing? Yeah, I don't see you having to say much about the Chiefs and the Ravens. <laughs> man. Uh, Mahomes did his thing, man. I mean, of course, he just pulled. Look, let me tell y'all how important it is to establish uh, some type of rhythm or wheel on, um, in the, on the road. Uh -huh. When you go down and your first drive is a touchdown, bro, that's like a haymaker. Now, granted, Baltimore came back and, and answered with a touchdown. Um, the the next drive, but when you do that on the road, bro, that sets a <clears throat> that sets a tone. The tone was set pregame when Kelsey throwing, you know, uh, uh, Tucker's helmet, Tucker helmet out the yo, way, yo, so his quarterback crazy. can warm up and shit like that. And it was a lot of pregame shit that, that that happened that was off camera. But again, that's your team going into a, an, an opposing team stadium and sit and basically saying we're here to take over your trap. Yeah. They did that in every facet of the game. We don't even believe this is a home game for y'all. So, I mean, shout out to them because Mahomes didn't have his best game. But I think from the intangibles of just the pregame, from during the game, and, and all the way through the fourth quarter, I think they just set the tone of just going in there and taking that shit. All right? But uh, you what, can even – what's up? What does – how does – Mahomes differ from everyone else from what you see from the from the QB's eyes. Like what sets him apart from all these other QBs? Nigga, everything. It's consistent. <laughs> Look, <laughs> along with that, but he, along with that everything, he's consistently making those magical fucking plays. Remember that one-handed play on third down that Kelsey made? Mm -hmm. He's making that shit every playoff run. Every AFC Championship game, every Super Bowl run that they have, he's doing that shit and pulling, you know, some out of out of his bag of tricks. You see what I'm saying? Of course, you see other quarterbacks that will do it from here and there, but this motherfucker is doing it every single year, mm -hmm. damn near every single other game. You know what I'm saying? And Thanks. of course, he's doing this shit when it matters the most. So that's what's separating him. That's why he, it's no accident this motherfucker is 14 and three in the playoffs. That's why it's no accident he's playing for potentially his fourth Super Bowl. This is number four, ain't it? Mm -hmm. uh, it would be three. number three, but number he's, three. he's been there four out of five. Well, yeah, this is, he playing for number three. Mm -hmm. 
But again, he's consistently there because he's consistently doing that. So no. this will be three out of four if he win? Yeah. Okay. Because he only lost to Brady. Yep. Okay. He's yep. never lost to the Super Bowl. And, and Bob, oh, I'm yeah, going to say this too uh, real quick. What's up? The thing with Pat, anytime it feel like the game, they need a big play or the game on the line, he never fails. Like, right. it, it's rare. You probably could pull up one or two games. Like, that probably didn't mean shit. But if some if it means something right. for him to do it, he going to figure out a way to do that shit. Right. I saw this post where it had all the scores of when they were down, like throughout the years of the playoffs, and they came back and won mm -hmm. the shit. Like 13 seconds with Buffalo, when the Texans were on their head, like early um, two or three years ago with Deshaun Watson, like 24 to zero. They mm -hmm. came Ooh, back and won yeah, that shit. That was People forget games. about that. Crazy, bro. But that's, that's, that's stuff you can't teach. To, just, to stay yeah. that consistent and to to go through that and and always majority of the time come out on the right side of that you can't teach that shit that's that experience. game was wild. Let alone I forgot been, when they came just back that guy, like bro. that. And then you know what you know how like if you got a certain quarterback on your team where it's like you never be like damn you want him to get the ball exactly and, and you down and you got to get one drive. The exactly. defense wants the ball in his hands. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> shit show. On the other hand, man, Lamar. Bro, I wish my boy would just understand he ain't like all these other quarterbacks. Dog, you going to be that guy to run the ball 15, 20 times a game. That's why you if he MVP. has, If he has 10, uh, let, me, let me say this. If he has five more rushing attempts, uh, I mean, deliberate, play call rushing attempts during that game, I think it's totally different. And again, that fourth and one play to where I thought and everybody else thought he should have broke for a 70-yard damn touchdown, bro, I'm... I might be old school and I might be hard headed, but I'm running that fucking play at least five more times throughout the game. Even if it's just to uh, try to establish some type of dominance or try to establish some type of, uh, um, I guess, um, intention of my best player pulling this shit out for us. <clears throat> so, so you, you're saying it's more on OC, not Lamar? Um, I mean, at that level, bro, it's a combination of both because you're working together. And, you know, the type of money that these players make, especially at the quarterback position, oh, you got to say so. You know oh, yeah. what I mean? And Lamar um, can veto a play. Thank you. So as soon <laughs> oh, yeah, as, we ain't as, as simple as, as, as shit, Jameis Winston. As, as simple <laughs> as a motherfucker can tell you near the ball, now, nah, player, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run this damn ball and get this six touch. Uh, I just want to see Lamar saying? go to the huddle and be like, hey, man, y'all just blocked. Bro, that would have won the game. Just block. That would have won the game. He's is not the only other quarterback that I could see and that I can remember that could do that was Michael Vick. And he damn near did that all the way to the, to the damn Super Bowl. And I think he has a better team. He has a better defense. And he has a better a, a, a better supporting cast. Bro, I just I just thought and I knew he was going to have over 10 rushing attempts and take over this yeah, game. Yeah, that that's you, why I took it on my prize pitch. Facts. Do you think um, the pressure, the moment kind of threw off um, Lamar's mechanics a little bit? Absolutely. When, I'm telling you, bro, it's totally different when you're playing expecting to win, and it's totally different when you're on the road and you're the underdog. But you can let your nuts hang a little bit more when you're the underdog. You ain't got to be so tense. Again, you, you, you're... It, you pre you're playing freely. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's not as much pressure on you. And what play did you notice? Did you see like, okay, he's mechanics are kind of off. He's doing too much. His mechanics are never on, to be honest with you. Like, M Lamar uh, Jackson doesn't have the best mechanics as a quarterback. Again, he's not like every other stereotypical, prototypical quarterback. He's a guy that has the ball in his hands, and he has 4-3 speed. And he can also throw. Like, he's the guy... That, he throws well. You know what I'm saying? But his mechanics aren't there necessarily. He can make some sidearm throws like and some crazy shit happen like the rest of them. But as far as the, the mechanics of what you want to teach a quarterback, nah, he ain't necessarily got that. But what he does have is something you can't teach. Some speed to where nobody can fucking catch you on the field. An arm to where where you can make some things happen when you break a tackle on on that first down where he, he hit uh, flowers for that touchdown. For sure. And, and then they got down. Or they, I, I, you can see they're a different team if they down. If right. they up, they play different. They More move loose, different. Yeah, yeah but I, I could tell when they were down, they not used to playing they from behind. Up. Yeah. yeah. Again, and I think that, that was the pressure, difference. Boy. 
That was compression. I see what you're talking about with that. Also, um, do you think those those passes to likely were PIs or could Lamar Lamar thrown the ball better to get the call? Nah, boy, no? you triple coat. You talking on about the, on that, that pick? on that touchdown, but also on the one um, that he kind of threw it out of bounds and Isaiah got tackled a little bit. On that uh, out, out and go. You Why trying to make something happen? Throwing his hand up and six you, niggas be on you, man. Yeah, with your you, motherfucking you, you, hand. You trying to make something happen? I mean, that's you know uh, a player making a play, defense making plays. You know what I mean? That's that shit happening. But that one he forced in the end zone and like you say, likely threw his hands up. Boy, you got three guys on you. That ball shouldn't have been thrown. Trying to force the issue there, but again, if I'm gonna force it to a guy that's six four six five, I'm gonna put it on the goal post. You know that bottom you jump crossbar. Anybody. Yep. Okay. Put on okay. that bottom crossbar. Put it up on the goalpost to where my six four six five guy can go up and get it, and you know we have a chance. All right, next game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, who was that? San Fran, Detroit. Ooh, Brock Purdy. Um, we spoke on him early, earlier. I think a few weeks back when I came on on the show, he proved everybody who was in his corner right. I think. He, he cashed out this past week. He's going to make a lot of money. He's going might he should be one of the best or, or the highest paid quarterbacks in the league. The highest? Yeah. He going to be close. Uh, why, Especially hey, if he win a Super Bowl. If he Bowl. win the Super Bowl, what? Come on, Marcel. Top five. Yeah. Yeah. He going to be up Top there. Top five. Yeah. And that's given that that's inflation amazing. and everything. That's too, amazing. Bro. That's that's because his contract is going to be newer than everybody else. Yeah. That's, that's me. I ain't the GM. That's just me. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, new media, you know money coming hey, in. Yeah, they yeah. show his dad, too. I ain't see that. His dad be lit. You seen him? <laughs> oh, that was the one with the red face yelling like a motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah his dad yeah, looked yeah, just yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jared Goff uh, played a hell of a game. Yeah, he did. Played a hell of a game. That was probably the one of the most efficient games from quarterback play that you will see. Of course, um, by both of them, yes. Yeah, Shit. Uh, Purdy had that pick, but you can see, you know, that D line hit his hand, and that, that necessarily yeah. wasn't, you know, um, all his fault. But that was that was a clean cut game. Um, Jared Goff had my boy drop that fourth down pass. Reynolds, man. Um, my boy Jameer Gibbs fumbled. You know, uh, adding on to uh, adding fuel to the fire. That that's shit you can't control. But as a quarterback, what are you saying in on the sideline in the huddle when you see your guys making those plays, like not making those plays and either fumbling or dropping like great passes? You're throwing. Honestly, bro, you just got to be the most encouraging player or person in you know talking to them. And the, the last thing you can do is have somebody go in the tank. You you got to encourage them and, and you know, live to play the next play because if if you make one bad play, a worse play. You know what I mean? The next time you called on, you know what I mean? We we just shit out of luck at that point. But now both quarterbacks in that San Francisco and uh, Detroit game, both quarterbacks played their ass off. I, I was very impressed by uh, Jared Goff. I don't think he's ever beat the 49ers too. So I, I, I that's why he I picked, that's yeah. why I liked them. And I almost went money line with them because it, it was just added motivation. And on top of- uh, Shit, he had them beat. He really did. But on top of the momentum they had, man, I, I really thought Detroit was going to pull that one out. But shout out to both of those quarterbacks, all them quarterbacks who made it. But uh, my homeboy, man, he's telling you, he's got that air about him, that Tom Brady shit that I don't care how bored you may get of seeing this motherfucker win. Some way, somehow, they're going to pull it out. Going to figure it out. Yeah. Who would you bet? Who would you, um, okay, prize picks, they, they start putting up some of the uh, players. They got Pat Mahomes at 261 and a half passing yards, or would you take Brock Purdy at 249 and a half passing yards? With those defenses, them kind of hard to take either one. What of was them. Pat's? Two, 260, you say? T 261 and a half. For Pat's? Yeah. And 240 for Brock Purdy? 249 and a half. So 250. I'm t bro, I'm not going Mason. against Mahomes for shit. <laughs> it's not necessarily I learned going my lesson, against. Bro. I think Brock Purdy gonna pass more than that. Yeah, he, I, he gonna get the over. I think he gonna get more because yeah. uh, uh, the Green Bay is two fifty two. They were down. Detroit two sixty seven. They were down. I think they're gonna be down. You know what? I wouldn't. I I second you on that only because I think that uh, Kansas City can run the ball, okay. and they'd have two decent running backs that can take a little bit of pressure off of Buddy. So. So we I go all, with the over on Purdy. We all agree with Purdy with the over. They got Christian McCaffrey over 90 and a half 
rushing yards or Isaiah Pacheco, 68 and a half rushing yards? I go Christian. I'm going to go with Isaiah to get that. I like Pacheco. <laughs> They gonna get Pacheco to goddamn yeah. it. He gotta run the motherfucker 30 times. I saw last game. I said, oh, this is what they were talking about. Yeah. They get Pacheco 25 carries and Absolutely. he had 20 something yards. <laughs> that man run hard as shit, man. Hey, I'm I'm joking, but that's a hard running motherfucker, yeah. boy. Pacheco run, bro, Pacheco run like he steal. <laughs> Travis Kelsey over 72 and a half receiving yards or Debo Samuel over 57 and a half receiving yards? Debo, over. Shit, you Debo. can't go wrong with either one. I, I, I like rather Debo do Kelsey over. receptions. I like Debo over because it's the lower number. Yeah. Better chances of he getting over that 54 yarder. Man. Uh, yard he, mark. he get that yak. Yeah. Pat Mahomes, he be fine in Kelsey now. Bro, he had 11 receptions. It's like, it's 11 like straight. Eight. No, 11 for 11, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like they weren't doing the shit all year. Like, nah, we yeah, just, eleven targets, eleven. We gonna catches. fuck. Right. We gonna fuck them up in the playoffs. We gonna fuck them up in the playoffs. I was, I was betting that shit live. <laughs> Kelsey receptions oh. mm-hmm. nine and a half over nine and a half. What live. you want to talk about the uh, the nigga Keyshawn, a uh, Keyshawn, and you been live? What do you mean? Them them bets <laughs> add up, about, bro. Uh, Boutte, oh, yeah. you yeah, <laughs> you betting each reception? That shit gonna add up. Uh, when we come back, we're going to do our prize picks. Uh, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm putting the team on my back, bro. From the comments, you can see there's no 42 for us. <laughs> I think Yvette is going on a hot streak, definitely. Yvette been balling. But I've, I've we got... myself. Marcel, why are we on break? I need you to look up. How many weeks in a row has Dom missed? Because I think this <laughs> something we got to start discussing. This nigga Dom might be... Dom is 89 and he might have lost nine straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since I heard, since I seen Dom with a green check by his damn name. Now, I'm losing too, but God damn. <laughs> I'm 11 and 7. I was doing good, dog. Damn this tough. We'll talk about it in the prize picks. We'll, we'll talk about nigga, it. Nigga, uh, Yvette is nine and six. <laughs> Marcel, nine and five. Marcel, you and Thad tied. Nine and five, nine and five. And Greg, oh, shit. <laughs> boy, Greg, five and ten. The cousins, bro. They... Them cousins fucking Ooh. up, boy. <laughs> well, when we come back on Broken Play, we're going to get some 1942 money right in time for the Super Bowl. That's what all we was doing. All we were waiting for. The Super party. Bowl time. That's when you need the 42. What the fuck we celebrate? For a divisional game. Right. For a wild card game. What? Give us the money when it's time to throw a Super Bowl the big party. Game. Watch what right. we do. Watch what we do this week and watch what we have next week. Nothing but 1942 all around this motherfucker. When we come back on Broken Play. Our pick should be... Not football? Just like that, we're back. Woo! Bing, 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 bing. We're going to talk a little NBA. Hey, man, we got the one, the only. We got Kwame Brown in. Yeah! The joint. yeah. Talk some NBA. Man. Uh, who your favorite team to watch? First of all, um, right now it's uh, San Antonio because I just want to see uh, Wimbyama. You like okay? You like Wimby? Yeah, yeah. But Luca just dropped. Six. I went to this Hawks game, and and I and ball was there as well. Man, Luca dropped seventy three points on the Hawks, <laughs> and I never seen Hawks fans getting mad. <laughs> they like, no, he can't do this. He can't do this at our house. Y'all don't even, y'all even got a Hawks jersey on. You don't care. Like, let him go for 80. Straight up. But do you think, like, now, because they were saying, like, NBA, they not playing defense like they would in, mm-hmm. in the past. Do you think that's the case or Luka just had a great, great offensive game? Did you see it? Nah, they, they want to make the game uh, more of an international game, so they made it where you have freedom of movement. Uh-huh. So freedom of movement make it to where a guy who's bigger can't impose his will on a guy like Luca, and so he wouldn't have been able to play 
the way he's playing back in my era because we wouldn't have had to let him get to a spot. Yeah. We would hit him before he get there. For sure. Mm -hmm. So even like when you say like in the era of like, so say for instance, because I while we was watching the game, I did see the Hawks start trapping him and doubling him. Like, you know, later as the game went on, but at what time when a player got a certain amount of points, do like, like, hey, he ain't finna do this shit on us. <laughs> well, you, you gonna get a flagrant one. And so these guys, it's the business of basketball now. <laughs> yeah. They're playing for money. Yeah. So back in the day, you can see they, they yoked Kurt Rambis out of the air. Um, the, the, the Detroit style of basketball is over with because they want to see points because that's the fanfare. They want to see high volume of points. Mm, makes sense. Doc Rivers um, just got hired for the books. Now, at first I was upset about that because, you know, not that I know the coach that they had, but I was like, I just, you know what I'm saying? I want the black coach. I don't want no I don't want no coach to lose a job. Yeah, facts. But they were like, they they wasn't as bad as they were making it seem. Yeah. So now that they got Doc Rivers, they lose the first game. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's gonna happen, but Doc Rivers, his record, his resume is what it is. I mean, he's one of the most winningest coaches in the league. Mm -hmm. I mean, we praise a lot of these other coaches, but they don't have Doc Rivers' resume. That's I mean, true. He he only won one championship, but if we gonna praise Dan Tony, then how we mm. can't praise Doc Rivers? Mm -hmm. uh. You know, it's a it's a bunch of COVID, uh coaches, uh, Hubert, um, all these coaches that they praise as these great coaches. They don't have his and they ain't won. They ain't won nothing. Yeah, he got one. But then but also got Doc that. got the most losses in Game Sevens. Like yeah. he. He, he's, he was ranked top 15 coach of all time on the 75th anniversary, but mm -hmm. he's had amazing teams and only got one. He had Chris Paul, too. And he didn't win nothing, though. No okay, what happened with Chris Paul in the playoffs? Hurt. Yeah, it hurt. Okay, then. Every year. Every year. <laughs> <laughs> he he did can't get blame hurt. that on the coach. <laughs> yeah, he did. But you put these stallions out there and you build them up, and he get hurt. He's the most unreliable superstar you ever seen. And that's no offense. He's a great player, Hall of Fame player but he but don't yeah. play in the playoffs. Yeah. That's a fact. But he, Chris Paul didn't get hurt every year he was with the Clippers. Name one he didn't. I don't know off top. <laughs> every, year. <laughs> every year. Every year he gets hurt. Every year. So you can't blame that on the coach. Even, in, uh, even last year with Philly. Even last year with Philly, you had a guy who didn't want to play. You had a guy, a superstar talent, quit on the team. You can't, play, you can't blame that on the coach. You know, Doc Rivers, his resume is what it is. But if you have a players quitting on him, you got to hold that accountability to the player. Kwame, I'm glad you're here. And you brought this up so that I can't say I brought it up. Now, I'm going to ask you because you was in the league. Do you think James Harden is a top five shooting guard? <laughs> <laughs> Do I think he's a what? Top five shooting guard of all time. No, nah, because he only played one side of the ball. I think James Harden is a top five shooting guard all the time. I'm going to stay with it, bro. On offense, but then he's a liability on the other end. You go to the park, you got to guard your man. They ain't picking you if you're just going to shoot the ball every time. Y'all forgetting what the core of basketball, what it really is. You got to guard your man. You got to, you, you're on a string. But nowadays, you gotta, you that's- You watch the NBA players just score. That that's changed nowadays. It's all about defensive schematics now. It's not like people locking up. You know oh, he saying? one of them new normal dudes. <laughs> yeah. Who really lock up in the league like that nowadays? One of them new normal niggas. I don't know. Who lock up in the league nowadays? <laughs> Who do you think lock up in the league? Jimmy uh, Butler lock up. Uh, Giannis. Giannis go both ways. The players I like go both ways. They play offense and defense. Who your top five players in the league that you like right now? Um, I like Wimbe. I like Giannis. Uh -huh. um, uh, Jokic. Uh, that kid Gordon from Denver. Aaron Gordon. Oh, Aaron Gordon Damn. and uh Murray from Denver. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they play the ball, they play ball the right way. Like yeah. yeah, they play ball the right way. It's about the team, it's about their system. Man, uh the NBA All-Star starters was announced. Uh SGA replaced Steph. Steph not starting. Who replaced that? It's uh, uh you Shea Gilgis from, okay, Alexander. Okay, see. Who? Shea Gills Alexander. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he hard, though. He cold now. Yeah. yeah. And we talk about him before? Yeah. Yeah, but he the replace Steph, though? I mean, that's the fans. That's, 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 that's the votes. Yeah, that's the that's, that's all that shit is. That's, the that's how you no, know it's it fans, done players, though. And, um, 
and coaches. Oh no shit! But I it was our fans. Yeah, but it was a time where the the fans will vote Steph so quick. It right. was like Steph was in them numbers with Giannis and Bron. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. He it should have still been Steph. I, I don't know. That's crazy. Oh, young fella doing well, but Steph done done so much for the league. That's crazy. You gotta have him star. Mm hmm. Uh huh. But speaking of done so much for the lead, the Warriors, they trying to see what they could get for Clay and Wiggins. Mm. What you think could fix uh, Golden State? They got to stop uh, playing small ball. When they had Bogut, when they had, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, he used to be on Shaq and the Fool. Uh, uh, McGee? JaVale McGee. McGee. <laughs> yeah. JaVale McGee, yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't give McGee credit. He changed every shot you put up. Uh, he going to go in there and get the rebound. He don't need the ball. He going to stay high energy. Yeah. And it's hard to do that as a big man on a team where you ain't going to get the ball. He gets you more possessions. Yeah. He get a lot of offensive rebounds. So, yeah. You... So when they was winning, they Damn. had a big center. They need to go back and find them a big center and implement them in the game. And mm -hmm. Looney ain't playing that much anymore, right? He out mm -hmm. the rotation. Mm -mm. And Looney be balling, too. He's solid. Like I'm saying, for what they need. Yeah. yeah. Well, I ain't saying run the offense through him, but I'm saying he do... What he's supposed to do for the team, though, but where you see Clay fitting in at? I think they should trade Clay well, right now. Over his, Wiggins? Uh, oh. Yeah. I mean, Clay done had a couple injuries. Wiggins didn't have no injuries yet. Not not nothing that Clay done dealt with. Yeah. So Clay is on the downside. Wiggins is going to give you Wiggins, you know, every year. He's going to give you a double double. Gotcha. Uh -huh. I see Clay, um, Lakers need shooting. Yeah. But I don't know if they have the assets to send. Like, do you really want Russell to come back to the Warriors? You saw that didn't really work out like that. So I don't know. Trade deadline's February eighth. So they got we'll about a, they got about a week to figure it out. You in the football too? Mm hmm Who you were going for this week? Uh I went for Kansas City because uh Taylor Swift. I knew the whole narrative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They want to see that boy kiss that white girl in the Super Bowl. You're so. smart. You're smart. Yeah. That's a smart man. Yeah, I ain't crazy. That's a, yeah. And then, yeah. then say I'm going smart to the Super Bowl. So they, they can't wait the Super Bowl. Man, they going to win the Super Bowl. They want hey. that last kiss. That's why I'm going for Kansas City all the way. It, man, right. it going to look like a smart. lifetime movie. I'm sad. They right. win the Super Bowl. I'm they going to be kissing like it Dawson Creek. <laughs> for he, real. Hey, he better exactly. mess it up, boy. They going to turn on him, boy. Man, man. that shit going to be a whole fucking movie, man. Yeah. He God messed it damn. up. They're going to turn on forever. I want Pat Mahomes' daddy to kiss her. That'll fuck their own. Cut the job. The motherfucker be screaming. Them owners are losing that <laughs> He get uh, excited and stuff. But no, nah, I did want, I wanted to see Lamar do something, man, because they, they done talk so bad and down on Lamar. Mm -hmm. So we all were going for Lamar just for the, the fact of that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They played with him by this money. And then Lamar. He one of them ones. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Pat Mahomes, he a great black quarterback. I, I, Pat Mahomes a talented quarterback, but mm -hmm. it just ain't no telling what Lamar would have did. You could just see Kodak Black at the Super Bowl. <laughs> it just would have been. None I just know it would have been so much around and he got the talent. So, yeah. But 49, but who your team then? I don't have a team. I'm you ain't a got a team? Yeah, I just bet. That's oh, okay. It. I don't want to be tired of nobody. I'm from Brunswick, so we don't have no team down there, so. I don't Brunswick, wanna, what? Brunswick, Georgia. Get the hell out of here, friend. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't want to deal with the Jaguars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know that. Yeah, so I got yeah, some. Fun. I'm from, I from. I was born in Charleston, but I grew up in Brunswick. Chuck Town. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, ben Simmons he returned post near triple double off the bench. Hmm. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even know he was still playing. I didn't know he played. Who they play? Who they, who they play against? The uh, Utah Jazz. Oh. Well, the Jazz were playing all right, though. Yeah. All right. Who the Jazz Brooklyn, did? Nah, Brooklyn did. Brooklyn. Oh, they did? Put up 147. It's good to see him back, man, because um, the mental toll with the media, like, I'm sure you can speak to it. It takes a lot out of you mentally, mm -hmm. especially young. He came in one year of college and straight to the league and was very promising then. Just dropped off tremendously. Bro, I just. <laughs> I think, I'm, I'm gonna say, like, with Ben, I'm gonna say this. With Ben, it ain't so much as that. It's just like when you see him play, it's like, he good. But it then it's so much as like, you, you hear people say this and say that about him, like, bro, just play your motherfucking fuck them. 
And I, it, that, a lot of people were blaming Ben Simmons on this team and that team. Bro, when Ben Simmons was with Philly, they were straight. Mm. The only problem I had with Ben Simmons that time when they played the Hawks, he'd go, like, bro, he stopped believing in himself. Exactly. Mental. That's where it started sure. at first. When he drove to the lane and he was right up there, he passed the ball out. I said, oh, shit. Did you I, ask why he did that? Huh? Did I ask him? No, you know why he did that? Why he do that? He don't want to get fouled. Scared that free throw line. His problem is a free throw line. So the moment he started missing free throws, mentally he like, I just don't want to get fouled. If he can make a layup or just shoot a wide open shot, he'll take it. But he if it's time to, to carry the line. threat and go to the basket, he don't want to do that because he don't want to go to the free throw line. And he mm. had Trey Young right there. He could have just boomed it on him. But now, nah, do what I'm saying, Quam. I see so many motherfuckers who shouldn't be shooting, keep shooting. Nigga, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the coach have to tell me, hey, boy, stop. But it's different at that free throw line. It get real oh, quiet. Yeah, it get you quiet. know me, I and shot 54%, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> it get quiet when yeah. you're at home, and then it get loud when you're on the road. What? You by yourself. And it's the playoffs? Yes. Ooh, by yourself, are you responsible for losing the game or winning it? That's a lot. You nigga. see how tense LeBron be at the free throw line? He be... See, there you go. They go boy, they going to get If you. I'm at a Hawks game, I don't even be cheering, bro. But when the other team at the free throw line and we can win a Chick-fil-A sandwich, nigga, I be oh. cheering my ass. Like, nigga, my fat ass, miss it! <laughs> So they get they get the crowd behind them. Man, all they got to do is get my 30 fat niggas in the East Bay and tell them you get a free Chick-fil-A sandwich. Boy, we'll have that bitch rock. And that's what they got to do a lot of that time. Rondo was arrested on gun and drug charges in oh, Indiana. Shit. I ain't going to speak on until I get all the facts. Amen to that, brother. Yeah. That's what they did with uh, Josh job. Giddy. I like that. Yeah. 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 That's what they said. Yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> And they still yeah. want to sweep that shit on the road. Yeah. yeah, they had the facts on Dana White. They still let him make a statement, and he mm. still had a slap lead. Hey, on some real shit, what you think about that though? With the Josh Giddy situation, he should have got some. He, he shouldn't have been able to play till they figured something out. I'm just, I'm just trying to get people to understand we our own worst enemy because most of our black outlets report the news more than the white ones do. Mm -hmm. The white people stay on code. They don't report on Josh Giddy. They don't report on Dana White, and they don't report on what's the uh, Ed McMahon or what, what's the guy? Vince McMahon. Oh, no. Vince McMahon. Nasty Vince McMahon. Yeah, they don't report on that. Man, I read them tell me, he that ain't just nasty. That nigga sick. Yeah, but because we don't like a dude, we'll put we'll put everything out. Oh there. yeah, no, nah, fuck well, that. Stay something in. Yeah, Vince McMahon. You saw them tell me? No, I did not. I don't. Ain't nobody reporting on it, bro. I don't. I don't want to know about. It. I don't want to know about. It. Bro, he he he. Is it underage? Shit? He's wild. He, nah, bro, I don't know. It it's not underage. No, nah. no, nah, he nah, was nah, underage. Nah. He done paid lawsuits out before allegedly. Yeah, so he a wild boy. Bro, he 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 bragging about other people fucking somebody at the job. Oh no, that yeah, you got a problem at that point. Yeah, he just you got he, a certain he threshold. Wanna watch. He done went over a certain threshold. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's that money threshold. Yeah, mm -hmm. he just want a wild like, bro. I never yeah. want to be this rich to watch somebody <laughs> no, else fuck. Hell no, keep me at. Keep me at the money I'm at. I gotta fuck. I'm telling you. Not saying, but my shit gonna be agreed upon. But I'm saying, but I don't want enough money where I wanna pay you to fuck somebody else and I watch. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Nigga, go on Twitter after dark, nigga. You, you that shit. Shit. But now, get it. We talked about that giddy shit. And and I, I don't blame just the uh, media outlets. I blame Adam, uh, the the commissioner too. Yeah, say something because they be quick to say, "Oh, we're gonna find Draymond Green some mental health." No, find Giddy some mental health too. Mm -hmm. Across the board, find everybody mental health. Sit his ass down too, indefinitely until we figure out. But then, mm -mm. I know his teammates. They don't look at that nigga the same. Can't, yeah, we're gonna have a little party. Can't. Uh, you can't. Don't tell Giddy, but we have, <laughs> we have a little part for the kids at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> uh, Chet Holmgren, like they uh, retired Chet Holmgren's jersey in Minnesota when they played Minnesota, and he wasn't at the game. It's, they retired his high school jersey. Good. Bro, them niggas don't. Oh, yeah, oh, they at high school game. Oh, he can't go there. Good. Because you know when people sick, they can't control that shit. They be like, where get at? That nigga get it, sniffing the cheerleaders. Uh, <laughs> cheerleaders uh, locker room. That, they ain't even in there. He just sniffing the room. Yeah. That's <laughs> a motherfucker. Talking about, we retired the jersey. I'll be, oh, be in in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty, sick ass nigga. But yeah.
That's what they get. But no, Rondo, I hope, man, Rondo, and then Rondo, uh, he got the, um, yeah, oh, oh shit, damn, not no more. Oh, man, yeah, you know, that's, that's a, I, I bet you that's a traffic stop. So car got searched, all that type of shit, and you know, the media outlets get a hold of that, man. Hopefully, my boy good, man. And I hate that they say drug charges. No, don't make it sound yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I know he ain't had no drugs how y'all trying to make it seem. So, uh, why you here? Who you who you got going to the final car? I could tell you like Denver. You like Denver and Milwaukee, huh? Mm. Yeah, Denver, Milwaukee, or Denver, Boston. Yeah, Boston played tough too. Mm. Tatum, bro. Tatum a dog, but mm-hmm. yeah. Hey, I'm but I don't know now. They might let LeBron get in there, keep letting him shoot all these goddamn free throws. <laughs> the script, the script writers. Yeah, there you go. Once they get this All Star, the end of the All Star trade, it's gonna be a then, lot. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it gonna be sure. out of nowhere. It's too much money to have LeBron sit out the playoffs. I'm just letting yeah, y'all know. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you might have to get in there. They gonna figure out, figure out at least out the Western way. Conference Finals. Mm. So Damn, you, Western Conference Finals? Might as well. I mean, yeah. he, he got that they last, last year, year and they didn't see that coming. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a blockbuster trade. They're going to get Trey Young, somebody. That would be, be crazy. Yeah, Trey Young. Trey got be, a house in LA already. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like two say, years ago. Hey, yeah, he's been who, trying who to get sign with Clutch Sports. Trey? Yeah. Oh, okay. And DeJounte, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you already know what's going on, huh? <laughs> Hey, you had said you like Wimby. What what it is about Wimby you like? Um, because he just that tall doing what he do. I think Bo Bo is the same type of player. I mm-hmm. agree with. So Shaq you agree with Shaq when Shaq yeah. said that? He's just not marketable. He ugly. I mean, they, they, people won't tell the <laughs> truth. He's not marketable. I'm not trying to be mean, but that's just the truth of the matter. Nah, bro, this is true. Good yeah. shit, bro. Just yeah. speak that bro, shit. Bro. Just speak that yeah. shit. I didn't expect that. He do the same thing. Yeah. What does he? Shit. What does Wimby Yama do that Bo Bo can't do? And I think Bo Bo move a little better than he does. You think Wimby shoot a little bit better though? No, nah, I just think he might look ugly, but he it'd be not yeah he got the like uncle Jay. Bo Bo you know went I mean? to teams not that they had the number one draft pick. They have Kevin Durant. They got they got players that he can't really do his thing. Yeah. They're featuring um, Wimby Yama. Mm. They're not featuring Wimby. Bo got Bo. some dog in him too, though. Yeah, yeah. Like when he play against certain players, you can see it. Like if he play against somebody like Giannis or Embiid, you see him step his game up. Like he. B gave him seventy. But B but. gave him. Oh, I'm gonna say, well, <laughs> but he, he, had he scored thirty three though, bro. Yeah, yeah he, man, he respected. Shit, I ain't say he went point for point with the nigga. I just say he stepped it up. Uh, see, he down what twenty nine thirty. Little bro. MJ used to say, "Win your matchup. <laughs> you can't give up Damn. seventy and get thirty and think you won your matchup." Man. Man. No, that nigga played you on lost. one side. Yeah, you lost. Now, so look, a player like Embiid, who you think more impressive? Scoring seven, Embiid or the uh, Luca? Embiid, because you you never seen that type of talent, that height. You uh-huh. know, can score. He can score from anywhere on the court. You can't. You never seen a seven footer that can hit threes, put it down on the ground, hit a mid range, get in the post. True. He he nice everywhere. And he ain't had and he don't have a ball in his hand as much as a mm-hmm. you know like a shooting guard or a point, point guard. Mm-hmm. So it's like. When he get that motherfucker, they coming. Like, he putting they know, pressure yeah, on the defense putting, yeah. every time. Yeah, he ain't scared of that free throw line. Either. Nope. Uh, that's true, too. Yeah. I hit that right on the head. When we get back, we're going to get more from Kwame Brown, find out what he got going on. Stay tuned to Broken Play. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> when you hear them claps, nigga, you know what time it is. Another prize pick, said. <laughs> Woo! I'm feeling good, man. I'm, I feel like Pat Mahomes of you know this segment, bro. I'm putting the team on my back, man. Man, I had the Pat sta- Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, bet Travis like that name do duel, man. I had the stats. Uh, evidently, I lost it, but we don't need it. Uh, no, nah, I don't need to see it. <laughs> no, nah, what is it? I want to see it. Yeah, come on, we need to see it. All right. <laughs> Just know, man, this shit getting ugly. Maybe we maybe we need to stop screaming 42. Let's just get a ball of Casamigo. <laughs> we can't even hit five out of six and double our money. Um, I had Lamar Jackson over 10 and a half rushing attempts. He had eight. 
if Lamar would have played like he's supposed to play, if he heard and watched the show and would have had the rushing attempt that I said he was going to have, they would have probably won and I would have won. But the show came out, you know, the day of. So yeah. yeah. It's tough for him to watch it. Tough for him to watch the show if he playing. You right. <laughs> you motherfucking right. Get that out, Lamar. Um, Dom had Brandon Ingram over 20 and a half points. He had 18. Why this is significant, uh, Dom put his wager in and we saw his that day of. So we knew we wasn't going to get 1942. So Dom already got his L out the way. Dom is now 89. Uh, Marcel had Jared Goff over 35 and a half pass attempts. He had 41. Easy Shout out, money. Marcel. Shit. Easy money, man. Let's Good do shit. it. I'm Marcel is in the lead, also tied with Thad, who has had Colin Sexton over 23 and a half points and rebounds. He had 26. All right, Thaddeus. Reggie, who did you have at first? Reggie Ball? Fucking Jameer Gibbs. He I had Jameer Gibbs over rushing yards. Yeah. But he said, nope. I'm going to take Harrison. Buckner <laughs> from Georgia Tech. <laughs> he went to Georgia Tech? Yeah. Sure did. Oh, my God. Sure Over did. one and a half field goals. They went for it on fourth down, bro. He had it. Had one. <laughs> had one. Another loss. So now we three out of five. So let's just go 50%. We waiting on Yvette. Yvette picked over 89 and a half rushing yards for Christian McCaffrey. He had Shout out, Shout out Yvette. We didn't win, but we didn't lose. But we definitely didn't get no money. <laughs> if so it was that, a flex pick, we got... No, we got to have at least four. Yeah, you got to at least have four. That's to get 40% of your money. <laughs> New we got to at least get five to win. Double. We got to start winning, bro. People, Because it's getting to the point, people watching these shows and they laughing when we pick. And then they come and up to us in the gym. Like, I think that. <laughs> yeah. I think that was the most because after you know what I mean, Reggie. We were probably on the fourth set. Reggie had us going, and me and Thad talking. You know what I mean? We motivating each other. Thad hit me with a bro, you got it. So I'm like, somebody walked up, like, man, I love the show. Like, so you know what I mean? Like, damn, you watching the show? We dab them up. We like. Man, y'all picks ain't shit. <laughs> bro, that last set, the whole time I just hear him, yo, picks ain't shit. Like, <laughs> bro, I, I ain't used to just going around motherfuckers uh, laughing at me. You can supposed to laugh with me. Amen, yeah. And he laughing at us. So if that don't motivate y'all niggas to do better picks this week, I don't know what it's going to take. Yeah, it motivated But some me. shit got to change in here. It motivated me too, dog. <laughs> so... Technically, Thad, you've been on a little street. You could you could jump it off. I'll bet. Uh, let me see the phone right quick. That nigga ain't got a phone. Okay. You All right. Mr. Cameron? I know I've been doing good lately. Thank you for acknowledging that. But I'm about to pick. This one is going to be a risk. I'm going with DeJounte Murray. He playing the L.A. Lakers. It's trade rumors that he mm -hmm. might go to the L.A. Story Lakers. Storyline, okay. So, you know. I'm about to go over DeJounte Murray, 21 and a half points. That, that's a good pick. I really was looking at that. That's, I ain't <laughs> hey, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he didn't play the last game with the Atlanta Hawks, too. So, he may not play tonight. Now, we we, we mm -hmm. got to find somebody who we know definitely going to play. I'm taking Jalen Johnson, 16 and a half points over. That's what I'm taking. He's been hooping lately, bro. He's been hooping. Yes, he he has. All right, let me find somebody else. All right, I'm going to stay with the. The Hawks, former Hawk, John Collins. I'm going to take 21 PRA, points, rebounds, and assists. They play against the Knicks. No Julius Randle. I think he should be crashing the boards a lot and getting buckets. Mm. That, boy, that boy might not do shit. Let me be positive. Yeah, be positive. I'm, yeah, I'm Pat Mahomes here, bro. I'm winning. Yvette? I'm outside of my comfort zone today. So I have two, and let me know how you feel about them. Okay. Um, I have Murray for over on points, rebounds, and assists, thirty-two point five. What what Murray? Uh, Je Dejounte. Yeah, mm -hmm. they say he questionable, so that's why I thought and you. <laughs> so who the next one? So the other one is Lori. Um, who? Lori McCarkin. 
Oh, Lori marketing. Yep. Uh, for over on his turnovers, one point five. Damn, that's a good one. I don't Y'all know. like that? One? I don't know. I don't know if he turned the ball over like that. I mean, turnovers is easy, so I, I would say that. The last time Don picked turnovers, he lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you got a good advisor next to you, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll try it. All right. Dom, what you got? Siakam, points, rebounds, and assists, over 30 and a half. I like that pick. I really do. He liked Ingram last week, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We all did. No, you know why Ingram lost? Because that... He yeah, was, that's what it that was, bro. It. Man, Dominic lost 10 straight. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had 18 points in the third quarter, bro. Dad said, no, this look good. He's going to hit. <laughs> I'm like, don't, don't do that ever. <laughs> Give me uh, Jalen Brunson under 32 points. Under 32. They played Who Jazz they tonight. Oh, <laughs> Like the last, like, yeah, but I like sex and go to him, bro. Well, that boy Reggie bro, said that with his chest too. He goes, <laughs> he goes to that that free throw line a lot too. Yeah. Yeah, cause old boy ain't playing too. He did play last night, so it's a back to back. Right. Know? What you got that? Man, I like Utah playing. They, I know they've been sucking the last two games, but so you ain't, who you just bet on? I mean, who you Jalen Brunson under 32. Okay. I'm going to go Collis Sexton again. I'm going to go under four free throws for him. Hey, you know what? We the might... Attempts or make, makes? Makes. Makes. All right. Less. Yeah. Less. More. 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 Put one. We got to put a crazy number. That's how you hit. I'm gonna put 107. It bring back 2,675 dollars. Yeah, we can get some 1942 with that. Let me try 108. <laughs> 108 bring back 2,700. Let me try 109. Hold on, man. 2,725. That's it. <laughs> That's it. We had our boy come on here and say, "Don't look at that goddamn payout, bro." Go Who's, for the wins. Oh, yeah, man, he said that. <laughs> Place! Do Let's it. Let's get this motherfucking money. Man, yeah, rich. Yeah. <laughs> man, rich. When a rich nigga tell you something, you automatically believe everything they say. Them niggas don't know <laughs> shit. Them niggas took risk just like we got to take risk. <laughs> My uncle told me that shit one time. He said... The thing about it, y'all will believe anything a rich person tell you. I've been telling you the same shit all your life, and you ain't listened to me one time. And my uncle, he has a successful pressure washing business <laughs> that he runs out of my auntie house. <laughs> and he only pressure washes her house. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only client. Got a That's client. the hey, only motherfucking client. client. They loyal. She loyal. They loyal. She loyal. But no, nah, man, this the week. Hey. <laughs> Come on, man. Be more convincing this than No, nah, look. This way going to be different. Give Vet that mic. <laughs> These niggas so child. Pause. Give him Matt the microphone. Uh, <laughs> no one. <laughs> I yeah, fucked up, yeah. my bad. All right, Yvette, could you give us here. some motivational words of encouragement? And then plus the camera time, you know the, the fellas want to see you anyway. Um, I guess basically, we done tried, all of us done tried. We had Reggie give us, a, you know, a, a pregame speech with, you know what I mean, with the football tactics. It didn't work. I done tried <laughs> from a coaching <laughs> standpoint, Thad and I came in this motherfucking cry. <laughs> uh, Dom, we, we made a song with Dom that, that time. That song was fire. The, the song was fire. The song was fire as fuck, but we didn't win. 
we 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 running out of hours. We got to put Greg on camera soon. I think that's really what's gonna be it. Once he get on camera, I don't know if I want to because I I don't want to. You just came off that fast. I it's did time just, to pray. But y'all not <laughs> y'all not ahead. gonna be blaming the Lord. No no the, no no. We oh, we'll blame your connection with the Lord before we blame the Lord. I'm a new believer. We'll, you'll get a, a stronger connection. So everybody, bow your hands. All right. Our Father, Father of Jesus, who gave his life for us, we want you to just put your hand on our picks. Watch over us. Give us a sound mind to make good decisions when it comes to putting these picks in. Amen. 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 Super simple. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> you supposed to end it with a burp, burp, burp so he could know. Because everybody probably praying for peace. Burp, burp, burp. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, even if we don't. We still believe. We still believe. We still believe in you. We coming. <laughs> yeah. Consistency. On the lip. We, we keep we getting shots up. Now. Hey, you remember like how did what did we do? We gotta go back and watch that episode once <laughs> we hit. Like what what was the episode we were doing? I don't even think I believed in I didn't even believe in the peaks because it the money was that and I went lower. Yeah. I was like, I was like uh Thad said something, I was like, boy, hell no. I went down. <laughs> and that's the shit that hit. Man, we had 42 in this motherfucker, I had wings. We still eat that, but it don't be as a group. It don't, like hit, it don't hit the same. It, yeah, it don't be. That's why, I like, sometimes it feel better when you win, not when it's earned, not given. I feel right. like we kind of curse because we were supposed to go to the club. We were supposed to have a section. It was supposed to be a whole thing. Man, Thad played around with the budget. The whole thing. <laughs> we were supposed to turn this whole room into the club. We had but look. Next time we hit, we going to the club. Because we shooting in the daytime. Bring a couple cameras. We going to day shift. <laughs> and just going to hang out. That'd be cool. We going to the day shift at Magic? No, nah, Blaze. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We going to Blaze, right? It ain't too far. Go there. I'll come back. You know what I mean? Something's a little. <laughs> that we don't, they don't need to hear us. Because we got the music playing in there anyway. Just look camera again us, yeah. Just see the 42 come. No. And Blazer, I can see if I get some 42. We'll talk offline. <laughs> hey, y'all y'all keep praying and wishing for our uh downfall, but guess what? We just gonna show you the Lord believing us more than y'all hate. Keep hey. This come from Nav Green. We got my boy Marcel, got my boy Reggie Ball, got my boy Thad, got my boy Don, got my boy Vet. No. What? Your girl. Now we got to keep... Got, we don't want nobody to feel left up. All right. We got my girl, Yvette. <laughs> got my boy, Greg. We're a team. Burp, 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 burp. Burp.